With the return of hop-on, hop-off diesel services for the autumn diesel gala, the sun was shining bright on the first two days of the event, until the weekend, when a little darker weather set in on Kidderminster Station. Despite conditions at Kidderminster being extremely wet, spirits are far from damp under the third day of the autumn diesel gala, and I'm here to see two deserving winners receive their awards. Let's find out what's going on. And these very special presentations deserved a very special guest, and it's safe to say it drew quite a crowd. Quite a, quite a few times, and it's a huge pleasure and a great privilege to be able to, to, be able to do this. Because to be able to recognise the contribution that groups and individuals make to railway preservation and the maintenance of our heritage is a, a great, a, a great uh, pleasure for me, and it's great to be here to be able to do it. And you mentioned at the beginning there, obviously Lord Faulkner of Worcester. What's your connection to the Seven Valley Railway? I imagine you've uh, travelled here quite a few times. I've travelled here quite a few times, and this is by local. This is my local heritage railway uh, from my home in Worcester. And we're at the Autumn Diesel Gala, and you've obviously presented an award to the Class 50 Alliance. It must be great to see members of the public and how there is still an interest in heritage diesel as well as heritage steam and all elements of heritage rail. Well, I think the interest in heritage diesel is a relatively new thing. Certainly when I first got involved with the heritage rail movement, uh, there wasn't much in the way of heritage diesel. But the guys who, um, the guys who are involved with the Class 50 Alliance have done a fantastic job in not only preserving and restoring locomotives, but raising public awareness of what they do. And they've got a whole weekend devoted to their activities. Um, this weekend, uh, most in trains running on the Seven Valley, and from what I've seen, the trains that are running out of, uh, out of Kidderminster are all well filled, and people are having a great time. It's great to see diesel preservation being recognised a lot by the HRA, uh, and obviously even more fantastic that uh, it goes to an SVR group for me personally to the Class 50 Alliance, which you know, I was one of the co-founders of. So yeah, couldn't be more pleased really. And does this feel like all your hard work has, you know, deserved recognition? I think I think it stands for the diesel preservation movement in general, really, because um, you know it's been a while, a long time. Some people will say too long for diesel preservation to be recognised. Um, diesel preservation started in the early 1970s. And I think there's always been this you know, division a little bit where, where people think railway preservation is all about steamboat. But of course it is, it's about stations and carriages and everything. Uh, but to see diesel preservation now properly recognised is just brilliant. I was brought up in the, you know, the 80s and uh, I was a great fan of the class 50s and I think it is fantastic that people have been able to maintain um, their hobby that we've got a good number of class 50s preserved and other diesel locos uh, as well and of course they've got a big following uh, and events like we're seeing on the Seven Valley with the Diesel Gala are popular and they do bring in uh, substantial money for the preserved railway so uh, I think it's uh, it's a winner all round. And I imagine you're now looking forward to getting out on the train? Yeah absolutely one or two challenges today and a bit of rain but I'm looking forward to getting uh, getting on the train and having a bit of 50 haulage this afternoon. But it wasn't just the Class 50 Association that received an award. Young volunteer Tom Mills from Bridge North also received a certificate from Lord Faulkner on the day of the event. Tom, you finally received your award for all your hard work. How does it feel? Well, that's great. It's a really achievement. And did you know about the nomination when Martin put it forward? Uh, no, it was a nice surprise, I found out. And all the hard work paid off and uh, that certificate's going to go on the wall? Yeah, definitely. One of the things I've done as president of the HRA is to sponsor the Lord Faulkner Young Volunteer of the Year Award. And there have been some marvellous applicants and award winners. Uh, and Tom is this year's runners up, um, and he's well worthy of, 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 of that honour because you know, hearing what he has done, particularly at Bridge North, is an inspiration to young people everywhere who are interested in, in the railway and putting something into it. But is Gus and the Class 50 Association already thinking about next year's award? I, I, you never say never, don't you? So I'd like to, I'd like to see it go to another SVR group, really, if possible. But, you know, um, it's, just, it's just good now that everybody's got the chance to apply for something dedicated to diesel traction. More proof that the Seven Valley Railway is the gold standard place to visit for diesel traction. Remember, if you want to travel behind one of our heritage diesels, Head to svr.co.uk for your tickets and don't forget to like, rate and subscribe below this video to see more fantastic diesel content from the Seven Valley Railway.